The following is a Kingfisher Media Production. Hey guys, you're listening to the In the Blood podcast. I am your host, A.C. Bergen Fisher. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen, whether you are a new or returning listener. I'd like to invite you to consider what is being shared with an open mind and a receptive heart. Before we begin, though, the following disclaimer. I am a coach, not a therapist. Everything I share is opinion-based and from personal experience. If you require therapy, I'd be happy to help you explore your options. For those who would prefer coaching with me, that can be arranged via email at inthebloodpod at gmail.com. Finally, if you'd like to support this project for as little as $5, you can do so by visiting buymeacoffee.com slash in the blood pod. I want to start off today with a couple of announcements. The first is that I started doing short videos, which are available on my YouTube channel. These are featuring content that is not available here on the audio podcast. I'll put a link in the show notes for those who aren't already subscribed. I will ask that while you're there, that you please hit the subscribe button as it really helps boost the visibility of my content. Second, the feedback on last week's conversation with Jason has been overwhelmingly positive. If you are one of those who liked what you heard, or maybe you have follow-up questions, feel free to reach out to either one of us. Again, I'll put links in the show notes. All right, enough of that. Today, I want to explore a question that comes up fairly frequently for me. Do I need a friend? Do I need a therapist? Or do I need a coach? I don't think we can do justice to answering that question without exploring what distinguishes one from the others. While I'm sure that there are some of you who already have a clear understanding of this, I do think you're in the minority. Most people I've spoken with seem to have clear preferences without having similarly clear understanding. You know what I mean? I know that when I originally realized that I needed support to help me deal with things I couldn't carry alone, I wasn't exactly sure where to turn. My wife wasn't the best option because she was fully immersed in the external symptoms of my stuff. The best she had to offer was to suggest that I talk to someone. Cool. So what was I supposed to do with that? I was raised in a cultural environment that left me poorly equipped to even begin to figure this out. First of all, I understood therapy to be for the super privileged and the super insane, as I was neither, at least by my own estimation. This didn't seem like a good fit. Having a life coach was one of those things that seemed reserved for rich suburban douchebags with too many dollars and not enough things to spend them on and too much time to invent problems that they had no intention of solving. Friends were there. Friends were always there. The problem with friends is that I was raised to keep my problems to myself because I had an obligation to maintain a macho image in front of them. If I had learned anything from watching my dad, Nobody is ever supposed to see a man express vulnerability or even worse, shed tears. I know now how I should have proceeded. I know that because I've had years of therapy. Therapy helped me to appreciate the valuable resource that a trusted friend can be. Tapping into that resource helped me to understand the benefits and limitations of both and to understand and appreciate the role of a coach. Too many of us think that if we have someone to talk to, then we're 90% of the way to healing. That if we have a really insightful friend, 
then coaching or therapy are totally unnecessary. That if we have a therapist, we don't need a coach. I've learned that this makes about as much sense as saying that I don't need to get my car's oil changed if I've already had my tires rotated. That I don't need gas because I just topped up the washer fluid. Of course, all of these things contribute to keeping our cars maintained and operational, but none of them replace the others. Maintaining ourselves might be a little more nuanced, but I still think the analogy holds. Okay, so now that we know that each contributes, maybe we should explore how each contributes. Briefly speaking, Friends offer support and conversation that is motivated by care. They're usually well-intentioned, but also, I think, ill-equipped. Even the smartest and most insightful friend is almost certain to be limited by some combination of at least two factors. One is that they're too close to be objective. And the other is that we tend to hold back vital details. Now, we might do this because we're trying to maintain our image, or we might just assume that some things are safely unspoken because our friends know us so well. Therapists offer support and conversation based on established methods of treatment which are built on a solid foundation of education, training, and professional experience. Their primary objective is to identify what's quote unquote broken so that they can help us figure out how to fix it. Coaches address our daily challenges through focusing on the practical aspects of our lives. They help us formulate realistic game plans for the future through an exploration of our strengths. They don't try to fix us. They instead help us to work with what we've already got. Unlike friends, they're able to be objective. Unlike therapists, they can share from personal experiences to encourage us along our journey. Now, first of all, I want to say that having friends is awesome. We humans have evolved to be social creatures, so none of us are ever going to operate at our full potential in isolation. We are hardwired to need each other. Having someone we can vent to, someone we can laugh with, maybe even someone to just sit with is beautiful and necessary. Now, I don't want anyone listening to think for a moment that I'm trying to downplay the value of friendship. I mean, really, I'm not trying to downplay therapy or coaching either. All right, now that I voiced that insecure disclaimer, let's jump back in. In the field of therapy, specialists address our mental health challenges using a multifaceted approach. They utilize tools like counseling and group sessions and possibly even medication. Their expertise goes beyond our present issues, exploring the complexities of our past to better explain and help manage our mental health conditions in the present. Therapy offers a confidential sanctuary, a judgment-free space for us to express ourselves while our therapist collaborates with other healthcare professionals in order to support our overall well-being. These therapists, equipped with formal education and ideally dedicated to meeting our needs, maintain a delicate balance. They draw on their professional knowledge without overly incorporating their personal experiences or stories into the process. Switching gears into coaching, coaches help us navigate day-to-day -day challenges with a focus on the practical aspects of our lives. They help us become architects of a game plan for the future, 
informed by an understanding of our present circumstances and lessons learned from the past. Their empowering role extends beyond addressing our mental health challenges to revealing our hidden strengths, all while helping us cultivate a proactive approach to our own well-being. Drawing inspiration from a variety of unique life experiences, coaches also serve as our cheerleaders, urging personal growth beyond the confines of our mental health challenges. While a therapist typically aims to help fix us, a good coach will focus more on working past our perceived limitations when we see ourselves as overwhelmed, broken, or incapable. As I hinted at earlier, at the heart of this intricate journey lies the idea that having one support system doesn't actually nullify the need for another. It's like preparing for life's challenges with a multi-talented team where each player has a distinctive, though overlapping role. Therapy and coaching, though different in so many ways, intertwine like a dynamic duo working together to guide my expedition toward well-being. Where friends, therapy, and coaching converge, they form a dream team focused on equipping us to navigate life's responsibilities, dreams, and aspirations in a safe, balanced, and supportive environment. When we embrace this cooperative of friends, therapist, and coach, we harness an almost unstoppable force which propels us toward a future full of self-discovery, resilience, and growth. If you've got thoughts on this or anything else I've spoken about, send me an email. I'd love to hear from you. Also, remember to check my website for a little more about me and my recent guest appearances. And until next week, my friends, much love.